Hey guys, so this is the higher end Saiski micro quad that I built. Um, put in some pricier components here like the micro motor warehouse dark edition motors here. I am using a all-in-one uh, camera VTX here, that's the FX797T. And this is a 3D printed frame I got from the drone shop. And I'll, I'll put links to all of these parts in the description below. I, um, I'll give you my thoughts on how this was put together and what's coming uh, on the channel later for uh, Saiski Micro Drones. Now, obviously, if you've been watching my channel, I would recommend not getting the 797T. I would get the 798T instead, just because it has a an improved design with the uh, flexible antenna here. So, in the event of a crash, um, you're not you're less likely to break the antenna. Uh, this antenna's got that PCB where it uh, is vulnerable to being snapped off there, which is why I made these um, zip tie roll bars here that just attach to the frame, like so. It's just two zip ties, and then I use some heat shrink to uh, um, come, uh, put them together, and. Uh, Basically, on any kind of uh, impact, when it flips over, the zip ties will take most of the energy of the of the fall or the crash, and not the uh, the uh, lobes of the antenna or the PCB. And one of the reasons I got this frame, it's 3D printed, is is uh, it has this sort of angled uh, mount area here for this particular camera, and it gives you a little bit of uh, camera tilt here let me show you so you get a little bit of a camera angle there of course the same size keyboard that all the other builds are made out of uh, this one's a little different it's got the, the sockets for these particular dark edition motors they come with the plugs and then uh, in order to connect the camera VTX to the um, size keyboard I just use this little small pigtail back here it's the 1.25 millimeter JST connector, which is matches up with the connector that goes to the camera. And then I have a micro uh adapter here for the battery, and I'm just using this rubber band here to hold my batteries in. Although I think later I'm going to probably use some uh, Velcro here instead, uh, maybe in addition to because it slides around. It's a, a smooth surface here. Just have my motors hot glued in. Uh, they they slide into these sockets with some friction. And then I have a little bit of uh, maybe about two millimeters overhang, and then I just have some hot glue there to hold everything in place. Seems to be holding up so far. I'll put some flight video up here at the end of the the review, and you'll see that it flies faster, but not as fast as I had hoped it would fly and I think it's because this 3d printed frame is kind of heavy it's about 16 grams I'm not exactly sure what material this is made out of um, but it is a lot heavier even though the FPV system is lighter so this camera is about four and a half grams uh, I'm sorry this camera and VTX is about four and a half grams Whereas on the uh, budget quad, where you build your own with your own cloverleaf antenna, video transmitter, Pololu, and camera, that's close to 12 or 13 grams. So it's almost double or triple the weight. But that quad still weighs less than this one because um, this frame is so much heavier than the other one. So I think on the on the next build that I'm going to put together, I'm going to uh, select a, a different frame that's going to be quite a bit lighter. And now I'm, I'm still going to combine it with the all-in-one camera VTX here. Maybe get rid of the case and save about, I don't know, I think it's about half a gram or seven-tenths of a gram. Every gram, every gram on, this, on these builds counts for a lot. Um, and so I'm trying to go for performance, you know, ultimate speed. And so I'm thinking about getting these uh, different motors. They're not the, not the dark edition motors from Micro, Micro Motor Warehouse, but... Uh, they're called the Spintech, and um, they're you know eight and a half by twenty, uh, same brushless or sorry brushed motors like these, 
but supposedly they have even more performance than the dark edition so I'm gonna pick up some of those there uh, I think you get six motors for $25 and are on Amazon so I think my, for my next build is I'm gonna go for super lightweight but lots of power so I'm gonna get a light frame uh, the light uh, camera FPV system and, and some really powerful motors and see uh, how much faster this thing would fly. So anyway, um, this build's really super simple. Um, it's just, the camera is just uh, stuck on with double-sided foam tape here. I use a little bit of dental floss to hold it down. You got the zip tie. Uh, you got these, uh, you got dental floss here holding the uh, motor wires here. They plug into the size key. The size key is just mounted with some double-sided foam tape. Um, let me think what else there. Really the only soldering I did was I soldered on uh, the uh, motor connectors there, uh, the connector for the uh, camera and VTX, and the, cam and the, and the uh, connector for the battery. And that's it. Just some hot glue for the motors. And I think I built this thing in less than two hours. Um, so it's a pretty easy build if you get a frame like this. Uh, or if you use the uh, all-in-one uh, VTX camera combo. Anyway, guys, I'm going to roll some uh, video here of this thing in flight. It flies pretty good. I'm running a beta flight, I think 281 in this, but I'm going to uh, flash 290, which just came out a couple days ago on this guy, and uh, see if it flies any different. It's pretty fast, but not as fast as I would have hoped, and I'm going to try and get the overall weight of this thing down um, for the next build. So stay tuned to my channel. I'll I'll have some more videos on the Saiski builds coming up pretty soon. I'll talk to you guys later.